several days later. Hey all, I'm going to give you a bit of a run through of my uh, suitcase drum kit and how I've made it and the bits and pieces that I've used. Um, I've got a 14 inch floor tom I think it is and a 10 inch snare. The floor tom I've cut down and how I've mounted it I've just got one leg here and then coming off the suitcase I've used an attachment there, one of these adapters. That way you can have the floor tom on a bit of an angle because you can use that, that bracket. Uh, on the front of the kick, I put um, another couple of floor tom legs. That keeps it sort of nice and stable. It doesn't, doesn't wobble around too much. Uh, as you can see, I've cut the other tom down too. And how I've mounted it, I have a like a tom mount bracket there. Another, another one, and that's like a right angle. And then I just um, got this clamp thing that I got off one of my friends. Put a little foam washer thing on there. And that holds the uh, ride quite nice. It's kind of like a ride all purpose crash. Uh, the hats are just an old pair of hats that I scored for a bargain price. I thought it looked like the 60s or 70s or something. Um, another splash that I scored. I just put a rubber, wrapped a rubber band around the uh, stand that seems to hold it on. The snare is actually uh, a snare called a lap laptop snare. It's a, basically just a snare skin. You're meant to use it for acoustic jams and stuff like that. You just sit it on your lap and play. Uh, but I, again, with the hi-hat that I got, got this rusty old uh, sort of hi-hat stand and that just fits on there nicely. Like that. Um, the kick drum is fastened by a hinge. I put a hinge so you can see it there. And that's about it. The um, Suitcase I chose is a nice old big, looks like a 60s one, quite well made. I think it would have been expensive back in its day. So yeah, Skyway or something like that. But yeah, it fits everything nicely on it and everything does pack down uh, inside the suitcase when you're finished. <laughs> 